Now, I'll be going to discuss about the six main forms of Shinto. The first one is the Koshitsu Shinto or the Imperial Shinto. This form survived until this day in the form of special Shinto practice at the three shrines found at the grounds of the Imperial Palace. The religion and politics are one. There is no separation between the two Japanese cultures since the emperor is considered divine. His divinity implies the role of a high priest for the entire nation. Koka Shinto or the State Shinto. This is known as the national faith of Japan. Also, this is associated with supranationalism, imperialism, and militarism. The Jinja Shinto or the Shrine Shinto. This refers to the oldest form of Shinto expression. Its beginning can be traced way back before the Japanese written history. Kyoha Shinto also known as the Secretarian Shinto. This is also called as the Religious Shinto. It includes the 13 groups which were taught as the chosen ones to purify Shinto and the Japanese people. Minkan Shinto or the Shamanic Shinto. This deals with the shamans, spirit phenomena, and faith healing. Also, this reflects the oldest form of indigenous religion of Japan. The last form of Shinto, but not the least, is the Ryobu Shinto or the Dual Shinto. This form has two types. The first category is the Ryobu Shinto. It is a mixture of Buddhism and Shinto in which the Buddhas were identified with Kami. The second category of Robo Shinto is the Philosophical Shinto. It is interest in speculative thinking and conjectures. If you like this video, please comment for part 2 and part 3 of the Shintoism video. Thank you for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as click that notification bell and comment down below for suggestion of topics. That would be all. Sayonara!